video, I will describe how to select the equipment needed to prepare a vaccine for an intramuscular injection for children birth through 18 years of age. This route is abbreviated IM. Steps include gathering necessary supplies and selecting an appropriate syringe and needle. CDC recommends providers prepare vaccines just prior to administration. Providers should prepare vaccines in a designated area that is not adjacent to any area where potentially contaminated items are placed. Before preparing or administering any vaccine, always start with proper hand hygiene. CDC has hand hygiene guidelines and resources for healthcare personnel available online. To begin preparation, gather the appropriate supplies. This includes a syringe and needle, pre-packaged sterile alcohol wipes, and bandages. A marker or label will be needed to identify the vaccine once it is in the syringe. A one or three milliliter syringe is used to administer an IM injection. Typically, vaccines are not a thick liquid, so a 22 to 25 gauge needle is used. The appropriate needle length can vary. A supply of needles in lengths appropriate for the patient population should be available. For an optimal immune response to occur, the vaccine must reach the desired tissue site. For an intramuscular injection, the tissue site is muscle. To reach the muscle, the correct needle length and gauge must be used. The vastus lateralis muscle on the anterior lateral thigh is the preferred site for infants younger than one year of age. For the majority of infants, a one inch, 22 to 25 gauge needle is sufficient to penetrate the thigh muscle. For very young babies, those younger than 28 days old and preterm infants, a 5 8 inch needle is usually adequate if the skin is stretched flat between the thumb and the forefinger and the needle is inserted at a 90 degree angle. The vastus lateralis muscle on the anterolateral thigh is the preferred site for toddlers 12 through 35 months of age. To penetrate the muscle, use a 22 to 25 gauge needle at least one inch long. The deltoid muscle in the upper arm can also be used if the muscle mass is adequate. A 5 8 inch needle is adequate only for the deltoid muscle and only if the skin is stretched flat between the thumb and forefinger and the needle is inserted at a 90 degree angle to the skin. The deltoid muscle in the upper arm is the preferred site for children three through 18 years of age. For most children in this age group, a 22 to 25 gauge, 5 8 to one inch needle is sufficient to penetrate the muscle. In general, older children and adolescents require a one inch needle. The vastus lateralis muscle is an alternate site if the deltoid muscle cannot be used. A one to one and a quarter inch needle will be sufficient to reach muscle tissue in older children and adolescents. When preparing and administering vaccines, always follow safe injection practices and aseptic technique. A septic technique refers to the handling, preparing, and storing of medications and injection equipment and supplies to prevent microbial contamination. Always use a new needle and syringe for each injection. It is not necessary to change needles between preparing and drawing vaccine from a vial and injecting it into the patient unless the needle has been damaged or contaminated. Never combine vaccines in the same syringe unless specifically approved by the Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, and packaged for that specific purpose. CDC has injection safety resources for healthcare personnel available online at www.cdc.gov slash injection safety. This video is part of a series designed to demonstrate vaccine administration skills and best practices 
The video series is available on the Vaccine Administration webpage on the CDC Vaccines and Immunizations website at www.cdc.gov vaccines. Thank mm -hmm. you.